This is Twit. I'm excited. I ordered a watch. It's uh, not going to come till Monday. Do, do either one of you have a watch you could hold up and display? Do you have the red one? I see a lot. I think the red one was easy to get. There you go. Lori's yeah, got this the red. Is the, and the, this is the other one, the SE. So, Lori, let me see yours because you got the woven band, it looks like. Oh, no, the but rubber. No, no, this, you got is, the rubber. this is actually, they, oh, it's a they sent me just a standard sport yeah. band. Yeah, yeah. So, so a number of people who bought either the woven or the new, you know, the not, I can't really remember what they call the non classic. The solo loop and the solo Solos. braided. Yeah. Uh, a number of people so are good. saying, oh, crud, it's too big. Here comes John. Let's see John's. It's too, he has to wear it a little higher up on the arm. Did you get the, uh, you got the rubber one or the, uh, the rubber one. Oh, you got the weave. Can, how can we show it without uh, breaking the bubble of our COVID quarantine? He can throw it at you across the room. <laughs> <laughs> might knock you so, out. So I, I, I'm hearing a little bit about this, but so I guess people are saying that the printout that they that Apple used Apparently to help you figure out. Because I don't have any of the new bands yet. So I don't, my experience is still in the unknown. I won't get that until next Monday. But I read a thread, I think it was I Justine's retweet of somebody else saying that theirs was two sizes too, too big. Yeah. In that thread, people said it was too small, it was too big, it was too small, it was too big. So Maybe is people it, don't measure well. No, uh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is, is it our fault or is it Apple's fault? I don't know. You know, like I printed it out. I, I put my little credit card on it to make sure that it was the exact right size. I did all the things I was supposed to do. I measured See, my that's wrist. That's what they didn't do. I don't know, though. You like, did that. Maybe they, they did. did. They said that, though, in the thread. They said that some of them printed it out at 91% or Chrome defaults to 91% and preview defaulted to something else. And a lot of people didn't bother to make it full size and didn't realize that was a credit card size. Sizer. Yeah, so it's not that Apple's sizing chart is wrong. It's that people how they didn't quite understand yeah. how to size. You have yeah. to print it one to one, or you have to uh, size it yeah. correctly, pull it tight, or I mean, there's a lot of different. Which there's is kind of Apple's fault because they could put like words on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, 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 she retweeted I, Mike Ak Actus, who said. Uh, he went to the store to try it on. It turns out he ordered his two sizes too big. By the way, bad news, Apple treats those orders as one order. So in order to return yeah. the band, you have to return the watch. So my suggestion is just don't return the band. If this is your first Apple watch, you just need to get another band from Apple. If most of us, it's not our first time to the watch rodeo so we just you can fit it. multiple sizes too like i got they're really i talked to a lot of people like i talked to gruber and a bunch of other people and they sent us the right sizes and i don't know if they have some sort of wizard how do of they wrist know size working at cupertino uh, yeah i don't know but like this this fit like perfectly. how does that feel does and it feel okay yeah it feels really yeah, it feels like the the other band, and how do you put it on it stretches you. enough that you can just stretch it's just it. like a rubber band yeah, yeah. Okay. And it goes back on. That's actually fit, a sensible I plan, I think, if you get the right size. I fit the 7 and the 8, and I think I might fit the 9 because there is some overlap. This one is perfect. The 7 is a little tight. I think the 9 might be fine too, but maybe a little too loose. So I'm eager to see what the range is when people start trying multiple versions. And then, uh, so Micah's is too big. And I think Micah knows what he's doing. He printed it properly, yeah. checked it, compared it to a credit card, which you're supposed to do. Uh, you pull it pretty tight. You want it pretty tight on your wrist. Um, I don't know why yours is so big, John, but they seem to be a couple of sizes. Yours is about two sizes too big, I would say. Yeah. So, so no? it might actually be. Well, the on sizes Apple's aren't size. that much. They're like half an inch or a quarter inch. Yeah, it doesn't take much though. He says he he he, he got an eleven. He's going to get a ten and see if if it's better. Um, but the. Uh, Justine was saying about two sizes too big, but as you said, then some people say it's too small. And hmm, if we only had stores open, this wouldn't be a problem. But it, everything it is the is worst time they could have done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you uh, can't just go in and check. No. Yeah, very frustrating. Or buy two and then send back the one that doesn't fit. Well, you could do They're that. They're saying the ones in stores are like the sizing things in stores are working well, though. So uh, at least that's good in theory. I wonder what they're doing in store, uh, diff how that's different than, you know, that one of the recommendations that Apple has, if you, if you don't have the ability to print it out yourself, you can measure um, 
with a with a tape measure or you can actually make your own little ruler and then it tells yeah. you based on the inches around your wrist what that number is. So I actually, I tested all three ways because that's what I do for my job is I make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. <laughs> and I did measure what my actual wrist circumference is, which I don't remember what it is now, and compared it to the suggested size. And it was the same. It said that I'm a size five. Right. So when I used the paper, it said I'm a size five. And when I measured my actual inches on my wrist, it said five. So I don't know. I'm maybe, maybe on some people... I mean, I don't know. It seems really weird that it would, I mean, just like what you're saying that, you know, Micah printed it out. He made sure the credit card fit right and everything. And it still came to him two sizes or it came to him too large. How you like, what's, what's the, what's the little misstep there that Apple didn't catch that, that is making it that so many bands. I mean, it's not I a think ton this of is, them, but I think this is probably typical. I know with rings and things like that, it's not at all unusual for people to get the wrong size. But if you have a retail store that's open, it's not a big deal. But if right. you don't, yeah. then it becomes a, a larger issue, especially if the bands are in short supply. And that's the other problem is if, if you send it back to get a new one, you're going to be waiting a few weeks. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Even if, even if you're just sending a band back, like if you didn't buy a new Apple Watch with right. the band, if you just wanted a band... Like right. the most of those are also not available right now. So, just so sending it back would mean waiting a couple of weeks. Enough about the band. It's a good PSA. <laughs> it's a good warning. You know, you know, be careful.